guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana and today we're back with another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. Today is Rosie's birthday. I set up this entire birthday setting. I put down some balloons, I made some nice sandwiches, we had some cucumber sandwiches, some grilled cheese sandwiches, I had some, some champagne, a cake, um, oh and some drinks, Pepper put down some poured drinks and of course we had some some entertainment right and I was also planning on having a bit of a barbecue with some cake and maybe end the night with live music and if they wanted they could soak in the hot tub. I, I set this all up for Rosie's birthday but the recording was so laggy that I just ugh, I couldn't I couldn't deal with it and then the game crashed because of that as well so I was like wow that's great great start to her birthday I think I saved right after she had her birthday so there was no chance for me to redo it so uh, <laughs> she's a teenager we kind of missed that step and I did invite over a bunch of people but they didn't want to come to our party I added a bunch of teenagers that were in our classroom into a group invited them all over but they didn't want to come they didn't want to show up unfortunately because of that nobody like nobody showed up for her birthday party and on top of things pepper has decided to leave for work should i should i let her go should i not let her go she works until two but this is her birthday as you know work is really important to her please rosie by herself tells herself or convinces herself that it's okay because there's no way that nobody's going to show up to her birthday party she invited over some adults as well that should be coming here any second and she is pretty confident that Rosie's having a great day. I don't know how Pepper can think that Rosie's having the best time of her life. She literally leaves her daughter alone on her birthday. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure she also asked Rosie. She's like, I have to fix some things at work. I'll be right back. I'll be back in just a few hours. Do you mind? Pretty sure Rosie wouldn't be like, oh my god, please stay, mom. She would probably just be very disappointed that this is even a question. It has some flaws. I mean, she does put her work in front of her, her own child. Have a love-hate relationship. You guys know the drill by now. <laughs> Pepper does leave that. Despite everything, Rosie's gonna have a great time. Her friends are surely gonna show up. But Rosie knows deep down inside that that is not true. That's not going to happen. She knows her classmates better than anyone. And perhaps she should have talked more about her life, her, her worries, or her struggles at school. She never really shared much. And she definitely should have but she wasn't able to really express herself it wasn't something she learned from pepper it didn't come easy to her to talk about those things and instead she just kind of kept to herself and she did i mean she thought maybe her mom got the hint she was going to do like one one well it was supposed to be a fun day out with her friends but it turned out that nobody could make it and i think rosie knew back then that nobody was going to show up on her birthday party and maybe she didn't even expect a birthday party this big she is really happy don't get me wrong she's very happy that pepper has put this much effort but right now she can't see it she feels abandoned and she she just feels like she doesn't belong anywhere and it's really damaging i'm actually gonna turn off the stereo i think that at this time or at this moment she probably just had enough and she just wants to clean up some of the mess and just you know just get it over with at this point she really doesn't she really doesn't feel like staying up much later she's actually contemplating on going to bed or had a good few hours with pepper they ate cake they toasted they four of them they really they really had a good time together they had fun they laughed they danced and it was all really going well until like i said pepper had to go to work and then nobody showed up for her birthday party and she grew up and you know it's yeah it's it's just a bit it's it's really rough let's just put it that way so, okay you're oh we're gonna take a while if we're gonna do those one by one in the end none of her mom's friends could make it oh my god imagine rosie just drinking herself like getting her first hangover <laughs> from just drinking herself some comfort I totally see her do that oh my mm. it's very unfortunate but this is just the start of a really rough teenage chapter of her life despite that pepper's really rude okay pepper's who she is but she's really rude 
Pepper is great at socializing and she's great at throwing parties, but for some reason, nobody really wants to hang out with Rosie. Nobody really wants to be her friend. She thought she had a friend. Who was it? There was someone she had a friend in. I think it was, if we're still friends with her or with him, I don't remember who it was. I thought she had a friend in Lara, Stacy, or in Lucas, but neither of them showed up and it seems like their friendship levels have decreased even more. Yeah, I guess uh, guess it ain't happening. She hears her mother come home, but she's honestly not in the mood to come and greet her and she's quite happily just drinking herself some comfort. Pepper is coming over and she's actually going to ask her like what she's doing. Why? Well, why she's here alone? Uh, nobody showed up, mom. <laughs> Your little party wasn't so much of a party. Yeah, so my classmates didn't show up, your friends didn't show up, and to top it all off, you left me by myself. How do you think I'm doing, mom? How do you think I'm feeling right now? Pepper is trying to um, understand, but she's not showing much compassion. Pepper feels a bit disappointed. She almost feels like she just put all this hard work in and Rosie's not getting it. Like Rosie's not being grateful. While Rosie is frustrated because she doesn't feel like her mother is showing her any affection the way that she should. She just feels like she's being showered with gifts and big gestures, but when it actually comes to the little things like being comforted or being, you know, um, or, or celebrating a birthday, like staying with your child and forgetting about your job for one day so you can keep your child who had, you know, who had a big birthday party that nobody showed up to. They want your mom to comfort you in this moment because it's a really big deal. You're a teenager now. You want your mom to comfort you when things don't go right, right? And this is just one of the many moments that Rosie's realizing that her mother is really not like, I don't know, she's, she's just, she's not really able to She's just really not able to do that. Heated? Yes, I know, it didn't look like it. But after quite a heated talk, she is going upstairs to take a shower and head into bed. Pepper doesn't even want to try and argue with her. She can smell the alcohol. She knows that she is pretty, pretty gone. <laughs> pretty, well, she's pretty gone. She's not that far gone, but you know what I mean? She wants to argue with her. She doesn't even want to argue in general. Pepper does feel like she is right, she, that her daughter is just being ungrateful. She doesn't want to deal with it. She just wants to go to bed, get over with, and just start the day right in a few hours. Pepper, I'm kind of used to you taking a shower after you wake up first thing in the morning, but I guess you just rather take one before bed these days. Well, I guess you do work too, so it's probably a good thing to rinse yourself off though. Rosie is uh, <laughs> feeling a little crazy because of all of the drinks that she's had and she's currently, what is she doing, singing? She is singing her lungs out. She is, good thing it's a big house so Pepper won't wake up, but <laughs> it's clear that she's uh, feeling a little tipsy. She's, <laughs> she's, she's even bowing, even though nobody's watching. She says the best day of her life. So we're gonna have her use the bathroom and perhaps we could, we could I mean we could have her go to bed right now but I'm not exactly sure if that's what I want to do I guess we should just go to bed she's probably really wait like not really wait. she's probably really tired Pepper actually ended up getting a raise we went to work one day we went no actually we went to our store one of our stores and one of our customers ended up being a friend of the boss or something. He ended up doing a good word. I think he said something about giving us a raise or trying to get us one, and he did. We make 2,333 simoleons. Mm -hmm. For now, wants Rosie to get a scholarship, which I think is really important for us to hold on to. I think for Rosie, I want her first kiss to be something she focuses on, because I think a lot of teenagers probably are thinking about romance or see become hall of famer she wants to be the best in the athletics career okay so that's actually not what i thought and i'm not sure if this is something i'm going to keep or i'm going to change it it just depends if she fits or it fits within the i guess the narrative i'm trying to create but i will let you guys know on the second gen requirements and the story that I've come up with. I think many people might want to stay home after a day like this, but Rosie's actually quite happy to one, be away from home and focus on something else, and two, she, uh, I think she's ready to uh, tell some people what she thinks of them, especially of her two friends that she thought were her friends, Lara and Lucas. They're not super duper good friends, but I do know that they had a bit more of a, a higher friendship level. But yeah, she's going to school. 
Maybe she's thinking it can't get worse. Maybe she's not. I'm actually not sure with what kind of emotion she's going to school. Pepper has just woken up. We're gonna have her get to the bathroom and then probably head downstairs. I need to, oh right, so our robots kind of broke overnight, at least one did. Yeah, Pleb is still broken, but I'm gonna have Bleb, no, Pleb is going to fix Bleb. <laughs> oh my god, I should have given them better names. But I think I'm gonna have Pepper work out, because I did say I was going to max that out, but ended up not doing it, which is typical of me. <laughs> But if I'm not mistaken, we're really close. And for mechanical skill, we definitely just need to learn more, especially since robots broke. I think it's really good for us if we do end up learning more about it. But we can definitely use more charisma skill as well. I think after yesterday, I realized that she needs to better try harder. I'm not sure. Maybe she's not used to Rosie talking back. She used to be such a little sweet girl, but no, Rosie is now a teenager. She's trying to find her path in life, or she's going to at least. She hasn't really done anything yet, but I know she will be doing that. I think Pepper is going to have to uh, learn some social skills, really. Like, Pepper's not in the wrong for feeling the way that she's feeling feeling like she's ungrateful because she did do a lot of work. She feels like she threw an amazing party but didn't really know what to say or what to do. She didn't really know how to comfort her so instead she just tried to focus on what's good and the party itself was pretty amazing. But Rosie in that moment didn't want to hear about how good the party was, how good the food was, all the effort that Pepper put. All she wanted to hear was, I'm so sorry that none of your friends showed up or at least something comforting. But Pepper, not really knowing how to give that kind of affection and reassuring, just didn't really mention that at all. She didn't really focus on the bad, she just kind of not deal with it and just continue with her day. Like Pepper's really driven She's very, I do this, then I do this. If something goes wrong, I do the next. She doesn't really stand still and really feel or think too much. Rosie, however, is a bit more emotional and she feels things before she moves on and she needs a way to cope with them. That's really the difference between Pepper and Rosie. And I can understand if you want some affection, some comfort, and your mom's like, well, your party was good at least. Like, you're just like, shut up. <laughs> shut up, mom. I just want to hear you say, like, it's going to be all right. I just want some comforting for once. Maybe after. After a good workout session, she is realizing she was being a little bit unreasonable, at least a little bit, but Pepper also didn't really get a chance to tell her some other good news. She did bring a good, well she did bring, but she did buy Pepper something big. No, wait, hold up. Pepper bought Rosie something big as a birthday surprise. Oh, I don't really think Rosie is going to be very happy about it. This is how Pepper shows her affection. <laughs> she gives her daughter the lifestyle that um, she's always dreamed of. She gives her every kind of clothing item she probably can think of or want. And now she bought Rosie her own business. <laughs> yeah. Pepper is like, she's of the right age. I'm going to give her a business. She's going to be able to make her own money once she turns 18. If she goes to college, she probably wants Rosie to go to college. So let's say in Pepper's ideal, she goes to college, she gets, uh, and, and then she comes back or she works. I'm not really entirely sure, but she's going to get a store when she's old enough to run it. For now, she's going to run it with Pepper to share a bit of her her drive with uh, or her passion with Rosie. But like I said, I don't really think Rosie is um, very interested in all of that. <laughs> she comes right back home from school. She's just exhausted. Nothing really has gone well. And it didn't really feel like anyone cared that her birthday was yesterday. She came to school and nobody really said anything. And even the people that she considered her friends or thought they at least liked her a little bit, just nonchalantly responded with, oh, it was your birthday? Oh, nobody came? Oh, that sucks. Something like that. Really sucky. Plotting something. Deep down, she's already plotting something. We'll find, she will find what she's looking for. She's going to find her own little path. We're going to see a lot of this in the next season, but she is on her way to finding herself. And there's a lot of things that's going to happen. 
a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff but before i can really do the major things i do have to make sure that i know exactly what i want for rosie for the next generation so that's just really really important then i think i'm gonna cheat her knees for just another time i i think i can do that i can just do that it's me i can do it <laughs> i also finished all the potions and i sold all the potions in our store which means that let me check how many do i have 28 we need 22 more and then sell these last 22 potions in our store and once we've done that we also finished another goal for this generation i did say i want her to get alien abducted i'm definitely going to do that too no we're not going to have a baby it's definitely not going to happen but i do want her to be alien abducted i think it's just a really quirky little <laughs> side goal i guess a side quest we are about 14 days from being an elder i think we can get this done around 10 days just because like i said we still need to finish mechanical and body and even the charisma skill like we have to max it out i did say i was gonna max it out once rosie was a teenager and i could do it throughout the second gen but i kind of forgot we can't even move on to the second gen unless we <laughs> like we act actually finish this one so unfortunately that isn't really the plan but let's just say pepper is trying to um to figure out a way to tell rosa the good news after the argument she's a bit like hmm how do i break the news to my daughter like I, we just had a big fight i'm not really sure how to talk to a teenager to a teenager oh a teenager good um, a good opportunity for pepper to practice her skills a little bit maybe um learn some tact some uh some compassion i mean she has it she just needs to learn how to show it a little bit better even her friends have troubles with pepper sometimes because she can be cold and heartless and just focused on work and careers but as an adult i think you know yourself better and you know intentions of others or you can at least judge others a bit better or fairly whereas as a teenager i don't think we really are able to really do this I, I don't think we do it at the same level as uh, as adults do rosa is very happy to spend some time with the robots they don't really bother too much they don't really have they don't have they don't have the same solutions or the same how do even say this they're robots they don't have thoughts i mean they do talk they have a chip card inserted with whistle lines. I mean, obviously Pepper made them, so th probably their vocabulary or their interest <laughs> aren't very... <laughs> there's not a much of a variety, but I um, make great conversations, but they're not really deep. And I think that's what Rosie loves about these robots and about this family, that in any case, she always has the robots. Besides now that he walks out, do you really have to walk out as soon as I say that you're like her best friend at the moment? Well, now she's left playing alone. Oh my gosh. Maybe playing Scrabble isn't so bad. And um, it's made her realize that maybe she hasn't been so honest with herself or with her mother. And perhaps the words spell something like honesty or communication. <laughs> she's realizing that perhaps she needs to um, express herself or try to express herself to her mother and explain what she wants and what she needs. And who knows? Just say that she's been practicing her lines and she really, really, really wants to talk to her daughter. She doesn't really like the conversation that we had yesterday. Pleb, out of all moments, could she just like not do this right freaking now? Like it's it's a really big moment for me and my, my daughter, okay? Start out, we're gonna have Pepper give her a hug, and of course she's very happy to uh to initiate. And Pepper's kind of shocked that Rosie actually started the conversation before Pepper did. She's basically saying that she's kind of sorry for how she responded yesterday and that she should have been more honest with herself and with, with Pepper and maybe said how she was feeling and and pepper's like yo um, well she didn't say yo i always say yo for some reason at least yo pepper is pepper's trying to be understanding look grudge no hard feelings rosie honestly we all have a bad day and i see now that maybe i should have said things a bit differently maybe i wasn't really the person that you needed. I'm sorry. I don't really know how to nicer sometimes. Sometimes I, I really I really don't say the right thing, do I? I'm kind of not really fit to be a mom at all times. <laughs> Pepper is not gonna say it to Rosie that her daughter is, you know, was unwanted and that she still is struggling to really be a parent, but 
I think Pepper is hinting that she may not really be parent material or not as maternal as some others, so she's kind of sorry for perhaps not exactly being what Rosie needs. She's getting a little impatient though, but she is listening to her mother and she is accepting her what seems like apologies without actual apologizing word. <laughs> but she's like, um, maybe we can be more upfront with each other from now on and maybe we can try to communicate better, I don't know. Rosie is a really sweet, sweet, a really sweet child, and I definitely think that she has good communication skills. There's other things being said, like "thank you for the party," and then Pepper saying "I'm sorry, none of your friends showed up," stuff like that. Just some basic communication, which is really important because I think if these two, like if Rosie doesn't express to her mother how she feels, Pepper is not gonna pick up on the signs. Pepper is not like she's not gonna be nice unless you show her that you really need it at the moment. <laughs> I know that maybe sounds a bit strange, but I think Pepper's the kind of person that just doesn't get it. Like when someone is upset, she doesn't really seem to get it. She does something is wrong, but then Pepper just thinks logically and just says, yeah, just move on, just do something else, distract yourself. She's not really like, oh, come here, honey, here's a hug. You know what I mean? Pepper also doesn't really congratulate anyone very much. It's kind of funny. Um, it's kind of funny how Pepper has evolved because I did think she was a bit more compassionate but she's just so serious and so career driven and just focused on doing things and accomplishing things. I just I really just don't think it's I don't think it's in her personality to be more than than this you know and in times like what happened yesterday it's definitely been. It's definitely been hard. Looks like Rosie has decided to work out. Um, I think she is... Uh, her fitness level is on the bottom. And perhaps this is a way for her to feel better. She is trying to make herself uh, maybe look better, feel better. I'm not exactly sure. But as long as it's... Or maybe it's just for health reasons, honestly. Who knows? It's too early to say that. But I think... Uh, it's really important that she finds a way to relieve herself. So maybe could she do she can do it through exercise. She's always been one to jump rope and to swim, so it's kind of warm. It's kind of cold to swim actually. So perhaps working out can be a really good replacement for um for when she's feeling a certain kind of way. Either way, I'm really really happy that this talk happened. <laughs> um, do we think that Pepper? Th like let it slip that she has a restaurant. I actually don't think. I think Pepper did buy her the restaurant, but she has decided to drop the subject and not mention it. She doesn't feel like it's the right time to mention at all that, you know, she bought this thing. She understands that what she needs now is just someone to listen, to be nice to her and to kind of comfort her. And uh, as I said before, as long as Rosie goes to Pepper and says, I need this from you right now. Can you please do this for me? Can you be this person for me. I think they could make it work, but if she shuts down and doesn't allow Pepper to get in or get an idea of what she needs from her, then Pepper is going to remain cold and distant like she always is. And she's grumpy, so that doesn't really help. Really, I'm really sorry that the party didn't end up being much of a party. I <laughs> I really didn't. I, I, I expected some people to show up, but unfortunately, they really didn't. And it doesn't look like she made any friends at school or she talked to more people. I'm really sad. She doesn't even have one friend. I really wanted her to be friends with Juno and Bruno. I might have Sharon come over with those children. Actually, should we give her a little makeover? I think I have some. Okay, let's do that. Let me save and then let's give her a makeover before we end the episode. I already gave her longer hair. I don't know if you guys noticed, but as a child, um, I kind of... I have three hairstyles, very similar. The only difference is the length. So I started with like a smaller, shorter hairstyle and then I gradually picked a longer one. I wonder if anyone of you, I wonder if anyone noticed that. Let me know. Let me plan your outfit. What we have, I do love this outfit for her. Pick this. I haven't really picked any outfit to be honest. Oh, she doesn't have anything else. Besides this, it is red. Okay, let's find her a nicer outfit, shall we? Let's buy her everyday outfit. I like to imagine that Pepper did buy her a cell phone and some other things as well. Oh, whoa, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. What if I... Oh my god. Oh my god, she better not get... Oh my god. Wait, is this one of the big ones where she can get like 50,000 or be fired? Okay. All right. 
Let's take a deep breath. <laughs> Let's not mess this one up. The air is heavy with scientific anticipation, but more importantly, is charged with pure, unbridled electricity. Somewhere in the distance, a wolf howls. Even further off, a bell tolls and a baby cries. Tonight, Pepper plans to go against the very laws of nature. Oh gosh, tonight Pepper will attempt to reanimate the dead? Pepper! She's turn <laughs> she's trying to make her own Frankenstein. She's like, I already made robots. Frankenstein is next. Mwahaha. <laughs> her life's work. I should probably do the better, huh? Her life's work in the sciences has culminated in a combination of biological and chemical engineering. And since taking on the mantle of mad scientist, her thoughts have turned ever more towards living up to the title. Everything is in place, but in his haste, Pepper's assistant has misplaced the electrical schematics. Connect the green wires. Oh wait, so Pepper is going to have to rely on her instincts and decide whether to connect the green wires or the orange wires to the energy source. The correct set will route the, the reanimation powers of the skies directly to the machinery, while the other could set up a chain reaction which might very well lead to the end of the world. Okay, 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 hold up. Mm. Okay, we have to 50-50 chance here, okay? 50-50 chance. <laughs> we're gonna either blow up the world or we're going to connect, or we're gonna make a Frankenstein, I suppose. Now, green is always a good choice, but I like orange. So I'm gonna go for orange. Hopefully, I'm not gonna regret this. Okay, Grivello, Pepper's assistant, limps across the cold stone floor of Pepper's laboratory, dragging the heavy orange cables to the mass of diodes and vacuum tubes that is the re <laughs> Reanimatron 2000. Or as Pepper calls it, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I would say. Pepper gives Grivello the signal and he attaches the thick wiring to the protruding terminals at the base of the nearest Tesla coil. Change is in the wind, electricity is in the air. The hair on Pepper's neck begins to stand on end and the air above the laboratory swells and swirls. The room fills with the thick cloak of the night, a tangible force. The very essence of the law of nature begins to crumble right before her eyes. There is an explosion of color and heat and then darkness. Pepper scrambles for the emergency power and turns her gaze to the test subject. It's alive! Her beloved patch of chrysanthemums chrysanthemums <laughs> once brown and twisted now stand tall and lush nearly pulsating with life pepper's achievement represents a major step towards for the hor horticultural world as well as twenty-five thousand patent for pepper oh my gosh pepper just earned herself twenty-five thousand. what oh my gosh i really need to save it i i can't risk it i can't risk it at all um also let me just quickly uh, before i forget i want her to get um an mp3 player as well because i do think that that's probably what pepper bought for her girl as a gift um besides the restaurant because i do think pepper loves to give her some really like expensive things maybe she gave her clothes let's buy her like a bit like let's give her like five thousand simoleons of clothes but we're gonna pick things that i think pepper would buy for her oh my god imagine pepper buys her like embarrassing clothing which makes her bullied even more because she was bullied before imagine that All right, so tragic that's a good thing i decided to save it because two seconds afterwards the game crashed but it was it, it was to be expected buying clothing always is always risky i have so much custom content it always it's always risky so i want to buy her something that i think pepper would buy her and pepper loves practical clothing right pepper doesn't per se i want to say she doesn't care about fashion because she does look good but let's say Pepper doesn't really understand fashion that well. So perhaps she would buy her kid something that's not per se fashionable right now. Maybe it once was just... That's, not, that's actually kind of cool. But I want something that the kids would use as a reason to bully her too fancy or too rich if that makes sense like it's too much for school so people are bullying her because it's like too nice that's also a reason a pepper would buy that's just a bit too much a bit over the top oh my god that looks so cute be i wonder if there's a red dress version of what she had as a child 
I'm gonna have her buy this. It's not exactly red, but there's red in it. And like I said, next season it's really the full like red season. So I'm gonna get away with this for, for this season. Just for the sake of the storyline, let's put, put her in something like this. And um, let's say that she also got some vouchers and Rosie did some shopping herself. Let's buy also some nice clothes as well. Like something that, like I said, Rosie would probably have purchased herself. So I'm going to buy, since we are pretty rich, I'm just going to buy anything that's red-ish or red. And I don't know what kind of person she she's going to be. So let's just buy a bunch of a bunch of bunch of red outfits that one is so cute we have this one or maybe we should dress her in i mean it's difficult because i want to dress her in something nice but this is this is like business formal at the same time i kind of believe that she's probably getting bullied for no reason so we don't even really need to buy a lot of clothing that we're like, oh yeah, this is the reason why she's getting bullied. There absolutely is no reason why she's getting bullied. It doesn't, it do, it doesn't matter what, like what clothing she wears. Okay. Um, let's get some normal pants as well. Some shorts. These skirts are so short, by the way. Look how short these are. All right, we've got we've got some good clothing. We got some good clothing pieces. Do we need anything else? Buy pets, buy collar, buy souvenir, buy jewelry. Yeah, let's buy ourselves some jewelry. I can totally see her wear it. Do you think she's a silver girl? No, I think she's a gold girl. And then we're done. Just 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 this final lens, final touch. And let's just say these are just all presents because that's true. That's just yeah, they're all presents. Let's do a whole set, a whole freaking set. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then some rings. Let's do the other hand as well. We have a thumb ring. Oh, fancy. My lady. There you go. Damn, she's a fancy lady. She's got everything. Piercings? No, I don't really think so. All right, let's dress her girl up. And um, I'm not going to put her in the... Maybe should I put her in a jewelry? Should I put her in a jewelry? What do you guys think? Should I do it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, if you want to see what she looks like, stay tuned to the next episode. I'm not sure if it's going to be the last episode before the new season, but it's definitely one of the last. In the next episode, I am going to focus on finishing the 50 potions. I'm going to focus on getting our alien abducted. And I'm going to focus on finishing decorating the house and on potentially finishing all the skills as well if i cannot do it all there might be a second part but there's definitely at least another part coming so thank you guys so much for watching this episode and i'll see you guys in the next one bye